swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is should Joe Joyce activate his rematch clause? There was a rematch clause in his fight with Zhang, and he has the option of activating that rematch clause. Let's listen to what Zhang had to say after his victory over Joe Joyce. So this video appears courtesy of Frank Warren's Queensberry uh, channel. You can subscribe to that channel. All right, let's take a listen to what Zhang had to say. Well, you have this interim belt now. My understanding is that there is a rematch clause with Joe Joyce as well. Do you expect Joe Joyce to take that rematch clause? You He should. Um, he doesn't want to give up, so I'll wait for him. What do you think will happen in the rematch? Is it the same thing again? Because I guess he will come with new tactics. How would you approach the rematch? Uh, I'm going to keep improving, I'm going to study this fight, see my weakness, but I'm going to keep improving. And there were moments in there where you were done. All right, so that's what Zhang had to say. He said that Joe Joy should activate the rematch clause if he doesn't want to quit and he said that he's just going to improve and be ready for that uh rematch so i'm gonna turn it over to my man g who looks like you know what i mean he's he's into something what, what's going on g what's your oh, reaction God, yo, yo, listen when i see zang i swear to goodness i just can't remember the movie but i was just typing in uh jet lee fights japanese bad guy because yo in, in the movie where Jet Li is, um, I forgot which one it was, but he's fighting this dude, the last boss. And the last boss looks just like Zhang, bro. So I was just trying to find him. <laughs> I'm going to find it. But anyways, I, I'll deal with that later. I got enough time. We're we talking about Zhang today. But yeah, um, should he activate the rematch clause? Of course. And the reason why is I was saying this um, in between segments. I was saying this is the problem with the heavyweight division is because these guys only fight twice a year. So in the first segment, we, like I know I sounded like I was ranting, but the reason why is because when you have a division full of guys that only fight like twice a year, and if they take an L, that means, you know, either they have to run it back just to get back in position to get an opportunity to fight the champion or they're just forgotten, you know? So – Joyce is forced to, to run it back, you know, and this is the problem with the heavyweight division. They need to fight more because then if they fight more and they lose, it doesn't matter because it won't necessarily knock them out of, you know, their ranking and things of that nature. But because they only fight like twice a year, you know, with the exception, I think Zhang maybe fights like three times a year, you know, like the, the smaller ranked guys, like, you know, the big baby Anderson's and stuff. These guys are trying to build their names up. So they're fighting multiple times a year, but they're fighting nobody's. But when the top tier guys, the top 10 guys, these guys only fight like twice a year, and that's the problem. So, Joyce, you have to run it back. You got to get your, your position back, or you're not going to get an opportunity against the champion. You know what I mean? So, if you really want Usyk or, or whoever, if Usyk fights Fury and then th that happens, whatever, if you want to fight that champion, you need to get that, what's it, the interim title or – yeah, it's the interim. Interim level title, whatever, just to get that mandatory slot. You're going to have to take out Zhang, man. And I know you could do it. You know, it's like, salute to Zhang. But it's just like, I'll be honest. I'm not really too impressed with, with Zhang's performance, you know. I just feel like Joyce just didn't take this Zhang fight serious. He had, I mean, you know, Joyce usually doesn't have head movement. But I would imagine after getting punched in the face multiple times, I'm going to start bobbing and weaving. You know what I'm saying? But my <laughs> man just, he just stood there. And I'm just like, yo, this is confusing to me. So I just think Joyce just needs a, a, a nice little training camp. He need to come to the States. I think he already trains in the States, I think. 
I'm not sure. I don't know about that. But he, 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 I know he, that um Zane trains in the states. Well, he need to come back, New Jersey. Joyce, you need to come back to the states because clearly whatever they teach you in the UK ain't working. Come back to the states and we at least teach you how to get the eye of the tiger or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what you're doing over there, bro. I don't know why you're using your face as a as like a target practice hitter. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just crazy to me, man. It's just. Kids stressing me, son. I don't know, yo. Just I'm beyond. I don't even care about these guys, man. Just forget, forget uh, these two for a second. Yo, Wilder, don't play with me, man. And <laughs> Fury, don't play with me. Y'all three, I don't care about these other guys. Y'all three, just bang it out so we can just find out who's the best, man. That's all I care for, man. You know what I mean? Not no pause, man. This is so you know. You know what I mean? This is this is real. Usyk and Fury get that fight popping. You know what I'm saying? Make this happen, man. Cause these I gotta talk about these guys when I should be talking about the big boys. That's all I'm saying, man. But salute to y'all, man. Zang and um um juggernaut. Hi right, TVE. G said a lot. Yo, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I don't, don't say G in your segment. Just you just talk. You know what I'm saying? Like my wow. business. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna say this: Should Joy Joyce activate? How many did he got? Ninety days? I don't know. I say you should activate it on 89th day. But if you're not ready, don't take this fight at all. Because what I who, who they are is who we thought they would be. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, my man used to say back then: with, with who They are who we thought they were. That they, they are who we thought they were. And Joy Joyce, you. Rest in peace, Coach Green. Yo, why are you like turn it up and then it doesn't work? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's like I like Joe Joyce, but I don't want to disrespect him. You know, it's like yo, he's a great fight. He's a good fighter. I, great is amongst like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Holyfield, Lewis, Klitschko, all of them. But ah, I don't want to say it again. But Joyce, you gotta really get in the gym, man. You gotta really like um. Mold your craft. You gotta really like know like get you gotta build your IQ. If you really want to be champion, you gotta really do what you need to do. Before you activate this rematch clause, you gotta get you gotta prepare yourself mentally to get in this ring. Cause what I seen from you in the past is what I saw from you now. And it's the sock and bopper. And every time I saw you hit Zang, yeah, he was getting, he was getting bruised Rocky, up. Sock him. Yeah, the Sock Rocky Bopper. Bopper. <laughs> that just shot that X rated. You know, it's like hit left, hit right, hit left, hit right. That's the X rated. That's the X rated version of Rocko Sockle. <laughs> That's like great walls of TBE. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you can't, you can't, you can't come into the ring. And just think that's the only thing that's gonna work. You're gonna take pun you're gonna accept punishment and think you're gonna just hit them with punches that keep punish. coming. And Zane, I want to say Zane, you you have you you saw it coming, you have potential because you you beat the juggernaut, and some fighters ain't beat the juggernaut. Some fighters try to go blow for blow, he done beat upcoming prospects. <laughs> <laughs> he done beat former champion. He done beat a lot. Yo, 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 yo! Don't let this fight last night. Don't let this fight last night. <laughs> and if in the, in the rematch, if you're gonna accept this rematch, I want to see the Joy Joyce of old. Like I want to see Joy Joyce going come in here. Like you know, like nah. I don't want to see. I want to see. I want to see some head movement. Even it's like yo, 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 yo. You done. You make you make him look like you in the Matrix. Joe Joyce, you in the Matrix right now. I want to make you. I want that's just, that's what I want to see. Yo, I want to see yo, like you, yo. Yo. you. You see the punch coming. Last night you didn't see none of them punches coming, yo. Like them punches. Was, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you was getting head toss back crazy. Oh, you know? oh, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this guy? I'm yeah. just saying, like you was getting your head. PBE triple X off from over here. You threw a punch and Zane was like, "Nope, I got him. I got him. I got him again. Oh, I got him four times." And like it was like he was hitting you like a right hand, like like the jab, like so many times, and yet like the left hook. 
Don't get me started on the left hook. But Joe Joyce, if you really want this rematch, you really gotta get in the gym and train. You gotta really like get. I don't know if you gotta go to yoga or um acupuncture just to loosen yourself up. But you 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 have it in you. You have the endurance. Like you could have continued in that fight if your eye didn't close. If your eye didn't close, you could have gone out twelve. You you wasn't getting knocked out by this man. But when you're gonna knock this man out, you got you gotta ask yourself that Hold question. On. You saying he wasn't gonna get knocked out? Now I uh-huh. said if his eye didn't close, he could have continued. Like they, like the ref would have called off the fight if his eye didn't close. So we're gonna see Joe Justin do a lot of stuff. logic over there. If his eye didn't close, he could have continued. Duh. He could have continued. Duh. But it's like it's Joe Joyce. We've just seen him endure a lot of punishment. But Joe Joyce, if you want this rematch, go take it. But you gotta do a lot of work, man. You gotta really like loosen yourself up. I don't know what you need. <laughs> I don't know if you need oil. I don't know if you need oil. Oh, oh, no. He's, He's, too you. He's too tense when he fight these fighters. Like, yo, how you not see this coming? Like, Joseph Parker, again, I don't know how you lost to that. Joseph Parker. <laughs> you know saying? I don't know how you lost to this. That. Uh, this. That. Mm, uh, I don't know how you lost to that, but Joe Joyce, you you beat the best. You beat some of the some of the top 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 guys in the sport, and you could do it again. But you gotta get really get back in the gym and not like overwhelm yourself, but like just take 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 a moment to see what you really need to like better yourself. Because it's like. I don't see any of uh, yo G yo G watch him up because you used to say Joe Judge was gonna run through Usyk if he, he fought him again. And no man, there, let's no not way. Talk, man. Hey, G- no G- way. G- Hell G- will freeze over. Out. Hell will freeze over before Usyk loses to Joe Joyce. All right, you feel watch me? Hell will freeze over. Whatever. The sun will turn blue. Before AJ loses to Joe Joyce, the moon was stop. Who's gonna give you AJ? Uh, hey, 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 me. The moon will stop shining if Deontay Wilder lost to Joe Joyce. We will read the clock. clock okay. We will read the clock counterclockwise. <laughs> no, listen, G. We will read the clock, clock counterclockwise. If Fury lost to Joe Joyce. It's like it just doesn't make sense. His style doesn't make sense. I don't know. It's I don't want to even say it no more because you know it's a, it's problematic at this point. Just but, say it. Why are you scared? No, you scared. Joe Joyce, you can you have you have the you have the build, you have the you have the physique for boxing. No physique. This is, but I don't know if this I, <laughs> I don't know if it's really did. Kaden was um um uh in the audits. There was a character. Uh, there was a fighter. We called him Danger. And Joe Joe Joyce is Jane Danger. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. He's Danger. That's it. He's Danger. Yo, your whole segment, bro, was just reckless. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not say anything reckless. I kept it. Yo, you said yo get him some baby oil, son. Like, what are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, I said if they lost to him, like we we in another universe now. Like, it's, it just doesn't make sense. Like, how is Joe Judge winning? But I love Joe Judge. I like the grit. I like the like the the, the tenacity of him. I like how he fights. I nah, I take that back. I don't like how he fights. I feel like it doesn't make sense. It's just like my mind can't comprehend. How you see this coming and you get knocked out by it. Joseph Parker, you no, really need to reevaluate You really need to reevaluate yourself because it doesn't make sense at all how you lost this man. Because you knew everything. You could have beat him by points, honestly. If you want to fight Joe, just beat him by points. But Zang whipped him out. Zang stopped him in the sixth round. Like, I thought I like when I tuned into the fight. On ESPN Plus, it was on. It was in the first round. And I rewind it, and I called you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every the boxing versus testing the group chat like, oh, ain't no way, ain't no way. I'm like, yo, I just started the fight. 
I'm like, I called you. I'm like, yo, what, what round did he lose? The six. I'm like, it was just the fifth just now. Like, he got beat up that bad. It's like, yo, they're calling, they're waving in the towel. I don't know how. GG sounds so remorseful and everything. But <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on. I, you, 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 you a character, yo. <laughs> it's like, come on. Like, I don't get it. I, it's, it's not like I'm trying to, like, Take a, I'm like like downplay George Joyce. I like I feel like he could he could do it because I believed in the juggernaut. I was like this dude takes punches, but he stopped Daniel Dubois. He like swept up his eye and he made the man take a knee in the middle of the round from this, like not from this, but from this. You know you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like I don't get it. I don't get his fighting style. I don't get who's training him. I don't get who's who who, who like. It's either Joe Joyce or it's his trainers. It's either Joe Joyce is slow or it's his train. I'm I'm not I'm done. Yeah, yeah, stop, please. All right. So should Joe Joyce activate the rematch cause? My answer is yes. The main reason why I'm saying that is his age. <clears throat> He's already 36 years old, 37, maybe. I've seen 36, 37. Haven't really looked it up. I know Zang is approaching 40, so. He's been saying how he wants a shot at the heavyweight title. He was in position for that shot. <clears throat> then he took the match against Zang, and he had a slip-up. Similar to Dillian White with Alexander Povetkin. Um, Dillian White took an immediate rematch, and he was able to change the outcome against Alexander Povetkin. And Dillian White was knocked out cold. Wasn't stopped because of his eye. Dillian White got knocked out cold. So... You have that as a blueprint. Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz. It wasn't stopped because of his eye. It was stopped because the ref felt like Anthony Joshua didn't need to go out and answer the call after he got up and the referee observed him and said, no, nah, I don't think he needs to continue fighting. The referee stopped the fight. So I say that to say the fight was still in Joe Joyce. I believe 100% he still wanted to continue the fight. So if you ask me, Joe Joyce should want the immediate rematch because, one, it would be him conceding his spot to someone else. And at his age, I don't know if he can afford to do so. Mm -hmm. I also don't think that it's out of the realm of possibilities that Joe Joyce could win the rematch. It will be difficult because Zhang showed offensively that he is very talented. He also showed that he can punch, but he also looked like he was fading because there were moments in rounds two, not rounds two, from rounds three to four, where I did feel like Joe Joyce outworked him. And he landed the better punches, the flashier punches that may have stole the round at that at that at those times. But if that fight would have continued, it looked like Joe Joyce was picking up the pace and it looked like Joe Joyce was starting to become more effective in that fight. So I do feel like if Joe Joyce could have avoided some of that damage he took earlier to the face and got that fight into the later rounds, it would have been a very interesting fight to watch. And Joe Joyce, you know, isn't the guy who comes and blows people away with talent. That's not what he does. What he does is he applies pressure for 12 rounds. He makes you throw your best punches. He makes you get tired. He's still fresh. And then he takes you out. We showed the clip of Jason fighting uh, the boxer in like the Friday the 13th movies. That's Joe Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. 100%. And in this fight, what happened was his scar tissue actually caught up with him. Because I do think this is going to be a new normal for him. He's going to have to adjust to dealing with the fact that you may be able to take these punches on the chin, but your scar tissue can't handle it. And we've seen that before in boxing where a fighter's face just blows up and that impacts the fight and the fight, and the fight gets stopped because of it. So Joe Joyce now I think is in a position where he should take the rematch, but he does have to figure out a way to avoid punches. He does need to move his torso more. He does need to figure out a way to become more elusive because he can't just stand there and take these clean shots. He can't do that. If he does that, then 
we all know he runs the risk of the fight being stopped again due to severe eye damage or cuts or things of that nature. And like I said before, if you look at his face, you, you can see signs of it. You know, I'm sure he's not avoiding punches and sparring like that either. So um, this has become something where they really have to get it in line. But I will say this. If Joe Joyce doesn't take the rematch, I don't know if he will ever get back to this position that he's in right now, which he was in position to be the mandatory challenger for the WBO. If he doesn't take that rematch and he starts from the ground up again, exactly. I don't know if he'll ever be in that position again. And if it, it, and, and to be honest with you, there's some good heavyweights coming up who – you know, maybe able to exploit him and take advantage of him. I think the time is now for him to go back in that ring with Zane. And the main thing he needs to do is try to avoid enough punches early so that he can get to the later rounds and see whether or not Zane's conditioning can hold up. But make no mistake about it, man. Zane's a very skilled fighter. And if Zane comes in there in better condition, Zane said he wants to improve. Come in there in better condition. Come in there to where you can throw punches in the third and fourth round, the way you threw them in that first and second round. We're not talking about any of this. We're talking about a flat-out stoppage. So I think for me, Joe Joyce, he definitely needs to activate this rematch clause if he has dreams of becoming heavyweight champion. Because if he doesn't activate this rematch clause, I don't know where he goes to put himself in position to get a title shot again. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.